Welcome back. Lesson 18, Character Creation. Okay, this lesson's going to be all about how to make a character your own. So we're going to convert a real illusion character into our own. We'll go in here and pick a character. Uh, let's start with Joshua. I'm just going to grab that little thing there and resize him like that. Okay, so here now we've got the character highlighted and we're going to go ahead and take them to composer mode right off. And I'm just going to unclick show the bone so that we're just looking at Joshua here. All right, so now when you're in composer mode and you click content, it's going to take you in to where you can find some of the uh, parts and stuff like that. So right off the bat, there's like this head group. And just for example, I can take this guy's head and put him on, and I've done an instant clothing change. Okay, and now the actor is ready to, to go and do something else. Okay, so now, say I come in here, So that's one way that you can just instantly change clothing to any character that you have. Um, this was a free download. And so I could bring it, this in and, and work with this face now and say that with the original example, we were just going to go ahead and transform Joshua. Okay. So if one thing I wanted to do is put him into some different clothes, I'd probably bring in one of my other actors of the clothes that they're wearing, and then I'd throw Joshua's head on. Okay, so even for this example, though, let's just go ahead and play with Joshua's face. Um, I can pick a different face group for him. I'm looking for male. Okay, and then of course I could just come in and recolor his face to match his hands, select the hand color and just then change it to with like an eyedropper, you'd select that color. And so some of the ones that come for free are, are in here. Okay, so let's just say we're going to go with that. We'll give him some eyebrows, different eyebrows. And since he's a front-facing character, I'm going with front rate all the F group, and all these are side-facing in the opposite side. Okay, so now let's go. And, and if you had a side character, you'd be coming back in and making these changes to that side character. All right, so changing the eyes is as simple as clicking on them. This would be Ariel's eyes. I think over time you'll start collecting different eyeball groups. This is one that comes with Cartoon Animator. So we'll just put Philip's eyes in here and uh, just keep on working on down the list. And you can change the nose if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe give him a little bit different mouth. Let's see what Johnny's mouth looks like on him. <laughs> And so now we have a completely different looking character. Let's uh, maybe do just a little ear work. So the hairstyles that you have, you can sometimes interchange and sometimes not. They Some work better than others. Let's see if we can find one that doesn't detach. There we go. All right, so here's a... 360 here that we can put on that seems to work with that. And now if you don't have 
uh, any hair collection or anything like that, then um, what you would maybe consider doing is going and doing color change. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take this guy and we'll click on this SVG color adjustment now. You can see how easy it is to, to do that. So I'm going to click down here on his pants, and you see that that saved a lot of time and opens that up for me. For me. Click the first one and just then click the color, and it opens up this box. Okay, and so I'll pick a screen color. I like to go that route. And so I picked the screen color, and I'm going to say I want to go this uh, color of his gray shirt. Then I'll say OK. And there's the first highlight. Pick that screen color, pick that gray again, and now I'm just going to go with a tad darker and hit OK. There's his cuffs. I can also just play with the group like that. But it didn't make as much of an impact. So here's the last color. I'm going to go ahead with this pick a screen color the way I was. Take that, only this time it will come down quite a bit darker. So I've changed that pretty pretty easy. The shoes we could keep the same. Uh, come up here and you're and I'm gonna click on the hair group now and you'll see that it opens up the hair group. And as I come over it you can see which part of the hair. It will start flashing. So right now, this is what's selected. And when I select that, it's this little thing in the back here that's going on and off. All right, so I'm just going to do just a couple tiny tweaks here. This is just the highlight. That's what I was looking for. Uh, primary here. Let's do that. All right, now we got it. Now we can see it. And so as you can see, these guys can be customized to every single detail, their hair, their face. We can come in on his face here, like I was saying. And you can see here's the fill light and the face. So this is, I think, really the color that was off. So let's just go here. We'll pick a screen color and we'll select that tan color, which is just right, and say OK. And then he has that fill light around him, which is oops, pick a screen color, pick the skin color here, and uh, just that scotch brighter. Okay, and that's that's now matching the skin color of his hands. And you can do the same thing with the ears. All right, so there we go. Um, we've colored the character, changed the hairstyle, tweaked the clothes around. Um, you could just do whatever you want with these. And now you've created an original character. Um, probably continue on to disguise this jacket. And we'll do the rest of this in high speed. Just remember to save your work. And you can put some kind of accessory on him. Uh, this is about the only one that would really maybe work for him. Okay, and then you would just go right on back here and click on it. Once you're in stage mode, then you can resize it. Go ahead and put it on his head. And sometimes you just have to take a look like that. And then I'll usually use like the down arrow key and the side arrow key to get my placement just right.
Okay, so let's go with that. Okay, and so here we have the original Reillusion character, and we've converted them into a different looking guy. So now we'll go and we'll create action menus for our new character. And you got to make sure that you uh, highlight that actor. Okay, so now you see that his arm cut off right there. This is a, a sideways motion. And so uh, you're going to want front motions when you're working with a front motion character. Now you can get away with some of the some of the sideways stuff, but you pretty much um, need to pick things that were it's a, a front motion here. So a lot of the standing motions will you know will work with the sideways character. Um, So we have a motion here when we actually have put in three go to the puppet and I'm just gonna pick one of these 360 profiles and I'm gonna give him a smile face and we're just gonna hit record and the space bar and this everything that's highlighted here is what can move whenever I'm moving the mouse and then also when I click um, I'm going to create eye blinks so here I'll hit the space bar and we're just going to record until his motion stops so we'll just do a little ways here in fact let's go ahead and look at the timeline while we're doing this I'm going to double click the docket and I'm going to look at this whole timeline for a second so I can look at his motion clip so here's the clips that we put into his motion track so you can see that happening. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just set the stop right there and we'll take it back to the beginning. You can click the square to also to go back. You can hit this to go back. This one will take you back to the beginning of a stop. So wherever that beginning stop is, that's where it takes you. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is face puppet him. So I'm going to hit record and then the space bar. And I'm just going to record to the end of the stop. And it'll stop for me automatically because I have a stop there. So here we go. And we'll just move the mouse around a little bit. Click a couple times to get him to blink. And I'm done. All right. Now we can just play the movie. And I'm going to just do it down here. Okay, so that's what we've created, and we're going to go into this freeform deformation track. And I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to delete the awkward list, awkwardness clip, and show you that this is what's going on with the freeform deformation. Okay, it's pretty extreme in my opinion. He goes way too high out of proportion. Okay, so and this is going in in conjunction with the motion clip so these are extra motions that were added to that motion clip so let me go back I'm gonna put the motion clip back and then I'm gonna go up to this awkwardness clip and I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna say FFD intensity okay and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to about 15 16 percent okay now i'm going to delete this one again and show you how see how much smaller it's doing that so we still have motion going on there but it's not quite as exaggerated so we'll end it right here and when we come back we'll continue building his custom action menu that we'll be able to use anytime with this new character We'll also talk about character, scene, and props, or scene. So come on back. See you next time.